Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Island View in Ostriv, where, uh, you know, stuff is kind of um, going on here. There's all manner of uh, snow happening right now, you know, it's winter. So let's, uh, let's get uh, time rolling here. So I'm, uh, I'm thinking that I'm going to move on to a different game after this episode. Uh, get uh, all of these uh, these things here built and see where we end up and uh, from there uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll make the call at the end of the uh, the episode um, right do we have spare salt not really enough okay um, right well Anyway, uh, the idea is uh, get this uh, build queue uh, basically finished and uh, see where things uh, end up. Uh, and once that is uh, sorted out, uh, then there's uh, loads of, uh, of uh, other stuff that uh, could potentially be done, but it gets kind of tedious, uh, as you may have already noticed. And... As you can see, we've got these uh, pathfinding fails happening here. That's what these white lines are. So, uh, while these uh, village houses are uh, going up, I need to add a few of these. Uh, so, you know... Um, no. No. Can I fit that in there at all? Apparently not. To be able to fit one in here. Yeah, I can fit one there. And I should be able to fit a couple along here. Uh, okay. Uneven terrain. Okay, we can fit one there. And uneven terrain. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe, maybe stick one here. Yeah, I can stick one there. Uh, okay, so if I tell it to auto that, and then tell it to auto... No, it's not picking anything up. Well, it picked up salt, at least. Um, yeah. Uh, right. I, I suppose I might want to put another... No, no, no. It's in here. Yeah. Eh, stick one there. Yeah. And stick one there. Yeah. Now if I do... Nope. Auto that. Nope, it's not going to pick anything. Okay, so... I suppose I should add... Well, let's add apples and beef and um, buckwheat and firewood. Yeah. And here we'll add... Uh, I suppose we can add uh, fish and flour maybe. Uh, we have a messenger. Okay, come on. Uh, we can add... Uh, well, I guess we'll add that. And... We'll go in here. We'll add sunflower oil. Yeah. And we'll go over here. No, we'll wait. Okay. Uh, right, now over here. Yeah, right. That's the same guys again, right? Uh, now, I'm going to go over here and grab one of these where I'm going to uh, 
match the resource supply and the higher options. Yep. So we'll let that uh, tick along there. Uh, we have two houses. Okay, so we had we had a marriage happen. Yeah, so uh, what's going to happen along here is a whole bunch of stuff will uh, will get uh, cleared out and all of the trees and everything that are in the way, they'll get gone. Now it's going to take a minute, right? Uh, child's been born, another marriage. So, uh, yeah, so there was a latent demand for housing from the local uh, people. There's over 700 souls in this town. So that's, uh, that's a decent amount. Uh, by any uh, uh, calculation, I, I would say this has been a, another marriage. Uh, this has been a successful run. Uh, we had children being born over 5K. Uh, if we check in here, uh, as we've seen previously, uh, the key uh, item, loans. Over the entire course of the game, only 4,000 in loans. Balance is 5,200, right? So, uh, I've basically broken even. Now, if we back out here, this is only about a quarter of the map. And, uh, you know, there's a whole... There's a whole bunch over, over here. Up to the edge here. And there's a whole bunch down here, down to the edge there. So that's, uh, there's quite a lot of room to expand. So you could easily, with these row houses, get the population up to possibly 10 or 15,000, uh, probably. Not sure you could feed that population, but I'm pretty sure you get the population up into that range. So we're up to 720 souls. There's two open houses. Um, yeah, those are there. Uh, it's uh, spring, so we're planting crops. Uh, so there's no uh, no builders currently. But we are still clearing logs. Yeah, these guys are just scurrying back and forth, right? Uh, so uh, logs are getting removed. Right. Uh, yep. So there's three left on this build site, and then will there be three there, three, okay, three there, two, five, four. Yeah, so there's not that much, uh, that much clearing needed to be done for uh, more houses. And we got a messenger from the same place again, which I'm going to ignore again. Uh, the... Uh, the, the the money thing is now at 6k income uh oh we exported stuff okay right so there's uh, loads of stuff uh yet to be done we've uh, plowed some fields we've got we've got stuff running around here doing its yeah we're, we're planting a field here just about the end of march got loads of uh, animals uh, running around here uh, that's lots of sheep uh yeah Yeah, so uh, all in all, uh, quite a bit of stuff going on here. Pathfinding problems. I do hope the uh, dev uh, will be able to figure that out. Uh, this looks like 
uh, a pathfinding error going through the fence. Child's been born. Yeah. Uh, so we got one more. Uh, someone died of illness. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's another uh, build site. Uh, we got a, a house finished. Another house is going to finish. A messenger from somewhere different. We don't have any sunflower oil. Okay. Nah. Okay. Do we have apples? No. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to leave that alone. Yeah, so we've got another house that's going to go up right away. And we only have a couple more trees to uh, remove from a, a place. Uh, so, yeah, things are, uh, are uh, ticking along. Uh, right, so we've got... Uh, Well, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let it run through this this build queue. But uh, of interest is like there's three houses available, right? Uh, and uh, I could turn on migration, but that'll just uh, you know increase the uh, uh, the shortage of houses for uh, people for for the uh, kids growing up and all that jazz, right? Uh, so another house is finished. It's going to move on to the next one. And this is really what the late game in Ostrov is. You're going to be uh, building houses and building farms, uh, building whatever. So we've got a whole bunch of, uh, of industries going. We've got not enough food variety pick ticking up. Uh, you know, all of that stuff. Now in here, can we buy anything that would be... Um, honey? Eh. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, th that's the sort of thing you're going to be uh, dealing with, uh, for the most part, uh, for all the various uh, bits and, and bobs that pop up. Uh, you're going to end up with a lot of that going on. Uh, you can definitely get it so that doesn't happen, uh, uh, but that tends to get tedious, and it's not especially engaging to watch, uh, which is why I, I haven't put the uh, time into uh, being very careful and detailed about uh, getting, uh, uh, keeping food variety going and everything like that, just because it really, really puts the brakes on the gameplay pace, where you end up uh, spending a lot of time building farm fields and all of that jazz uh, and eventually eventually getting things really stable and then growing slowly. In fact, uh, if I was going to give any advice to players, uh, new players, grow slowly. Uh, make sure you get up to about 20, you know, 30 or 40, uh, you know, closer to 100, I guess, 100 or so villagers quickly uh, because you're going to need that population to run the basic services but then make sure you have the agricultural base the varied agricultural base to uh, to support uh, your population with a massive surplus and then build a few houses and then build a few more houses and make sure you continue to have the agricultural surplus uh, if you don't do that you're going to end up with these zots all over the place here, right? Uh, and you can definitely avoid that. It's definitely possible. Uh, and that will also, if you do that, you won't end up with a shortage of food. Uh, you won't end up with starving uh, villagers who move out. Uh, although it's not the end of the game if you end up with uh, villagers leaving because they're unhappy. As long as you have food and you can, uh, you've got food, water, and somewhere for them to live, pretend potentially a mayor. Uh, if you've got that, you can potentially attract 
uh, more citizens. Uh, and so we got another house is up and there's only four, five more uh, where we need to uh, steal a couple more trees. And that's not going to take very long. Uh, no, that, that's definitely not going to take very long. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, but it's uh, it's going to take a minute, right? Uh, but, you know, not, not that long. Uh, we have to get three trees out of there. And there's the guys coming to grab one. Yep. Uh, so that was a mature tree there. It's gone. Two trees left. Uh, right. And there, there comes one tree left. There we go. Yep, no, the tree's gone. And that's going to uh, get us down to four. Uh, right. So, uh, anyway, the, the plan is I will keep the save around. Uh, but I'm not planning to come back to Ostriv until there's a major update. Uh, from the developer, uh, which may be a while. Uh, he is in Ukraine. And uh, anyone who's watching this reasonably contemporary to when the vi the video has come out, uh, you know that there are some troubles over in that part of the world. <clears throat> I'm not going to get into any details because demonetization, even though I'm not monetized, uh, it also affects the algorithm and everything else, right? Anyway... Uh, yeah, so we got three, six, a dozen trees need to go away and we need some water to water wells to get built and then, uh, the cart parking and yeah. So yeah, we do have children being born, uh, at a pretty decent rate. We have, uh, some people dying out, but I think 700 or so. Uh, villagers is probably sustainable uh, in Ostriv. I haven't tried it, but it would be interesting to uh, let it run for a bit and see uh, how the population does. There will be a point where you hit a breakover where it'll just grow on its own. Uh, as long as there's housing, it'll grow. Uh, there, There is a breakover point, uh, or there should be, but uh, I don't know what where that is for the uh, algorithm used in Ostriv, it, it, which I suspect is random, where it takes uh, fertile age couples and uh, assigns children to them randomly. Um, right, but you know, like we got the like these eighteen year olds here, they'll end up uh, creating children at some point, right? But they've only been married for four months, right? So uh, we're up to 723. So I think this might be at the breakover point where the uh, population starts actually uh, growing from natural birth rate. Uh, but it will it will keep uh, it will keep doing what it's doing. Uh, oh, we got a messenger here we can check in with. Um, no, uh, no. Um, Uh, we, can we sell some of this? Yeah, let's do that. And we've got... Um, no. We've... Sunflower oil. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That'll do. Um, okay. So we're down to, uh, three trees on that site, uh, which will be cleared real quickly. Uh, right. So we're coming along here. Another house is going up. Yeah. Uh, bam. Done. Now we've got some uh, trees need to be uh, removed, right? Yeah, there we go. There's uh, a tree gone. Uh, 
another child's been born. Uh, yep, now we're down to two trees. That was a mature one. Another child's been born. Yeah, so uh, I don't know when the, uh, the total population number updates uh, after children are born. I, I assume they have to survive a certain length of time before they're counted. Uh, unless that only updates monthly. Well, yeah, it updated. Yeah, so it must be the children have to be a certain age. Uh, a month old or something. There's another child. Yeah. So, yeah, we're up to seven. Yeah, I think they must be like a month old or something like that before they count. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. So up to 726. Another child. Yeah, so we definitely got a population increase just happening naturally. Uh, and it's down to uh, fall, so it's harvest season. Uh, and that's going to bring in uh, a bunch of uh, potatoes and stuff. So if we take a look here, uh, we've got uh, harvesting going on over here. We've got harvesting going on over here. Yeah, another child. Yeah, so uh, population is actually growing uh, quite, uh, quite substantially here. Uh, I should check in on the graveyard. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Uh, okay. And we need... Uh, okay, we've got... Uh, where is it? Where's the... Where are you? Ah, over here. And then there's one there. Where's the... Where's the, the last one? Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, we have a messenger. Uh, you are... Useless. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, we have two more trees that need to go away here. Someone died of illness. But now we're up to 729 on the population tally. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's doing uh, quite well. And now we're down to one tree there. And then we just need another, another tree removed, then two at the next site one for a well, and then three more for the market stalls. And we got a house going up there. Uh, builders have been rehired, and off we go. Uh, we have 6K uh, currency units there. Uh, that's, uh, that's doing quite, uh, quite well. And this is 26 years after the town was founded uh, when we started the game. Uh, so, yeah, 27 game years, I guess, is going to be the... Uh, is going to be the uh, final tally. Yeah, we're, ju we're just about ready to clear up the final uh, house build site. Uh, what, what do we have? We have... Nine open houses. Another child. Uh, yeah. So a st we have a steady birth rate going. And that... Uh, oh, that, that will lead to a substantial uh, local population uh, uh, growth. Yeah, about 15 years. Game years. Because that's been going on for a couple of game years now. Uh, so when they turn 18, they'll get married, uh, move into their own house, if there is one. You know, uh, 730 population. Uh, right. And now, okay, we're uh, headed for uh, clearing up another uh, tree there. 
Uh, so there's one left because that was the second half of a mature tree. And off we go for the final one. There we go. That one's cleared. So there's uh, four more trees to clear. And the builders will, will just get underway real quickly with that uh, next one. Uh, yeah, and, you know, once that house is up, you know, there. Uh, we're bringing uh, stuff to this other uh, build site. Yeah, uh, someone died of old age. Yeah, so that's going to keep happening, too, you know, as people do get old. 84, you know, uh, quite a healthy uh, village overall, people living to be into their 80s. Now, this tree's gone. Then this one will be the next one where trees will be going away. Yep. Uh, we got a messenger from a place that's useless again. Right. And... Yep, there they come for another tree. Yep, that was a mature tree. Someone died of illness. And uh, someone has the flu. Ooh. Uh, okay, two trees left overall. So that will be uh, a thing. Yep, there they go to chop down the tree. Okay, uh, the well has uh, finished. Where is it? Where is it? Um, can we? No, that's not going to do anything. Uh, where it? Oh, there's the well. Uh. Turn off for production. This one also turn off for production. Okay, so we got water over by those houses now. Uh, what can we put over here? Um, potatoes, maybe? Yeah. Uh, one more, uh, one more tree to uh, collect, and there they go to collect it. Yep. Okay, now we can go in here, apply, apply, okay, and then these guys, we can order our uh, carts, yep, and then this guy, uh, okay, we got someone with a flu, so once this is, uh, this is sorted out, uh, Yep, we got a delivery. Yep. All resources collected, so that'll go up real quick. Uh, we got a messenger. We'll just check in with the messenger. Uh, they are buying charcoal. You know what? We'll sell all the charcoal. Yeah. Nope. Nah. Um, yeah, that seems, uh, that seems appropriate. No, we don't need that. Okay, good. So we just got the one more, one more, uh, thing to, uh, to build here. Yep. And then we'll order the carts and that there, uh, coming up on winter of, uh, 1747, is going to be the end of this particular uh, series. Uh, it just uh, doesn't seem like there's not there's much more really to do here. Uh, oh sure, uh, as I said earlier, there's uh, I could get more production chains up, uh, see what kind of a uh, population I can get to, all of that jazz. But I don't see I don't see that being particularly engaging, and quite frankly. 
at this point is but where I'd start getting bored anyway. So, yeah, uh, th that's going to be all here. Uh, wait till the uh, the snow flies here, and then uh, then I will uh, uh, put the end in. And uh, yeah, uh, so the snow is going to fly uh, real quick here when December starts. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. There's the snow. So I'm going to just, I'm going to end the series here. Uh, if you want me to, uh, if you have some ideas for something I, you might, I might do with this save, eh, leave a comment, uh, no guarantees, but I might get to it. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'll mention that I do have a Patreon. If for some reason you do want to support the channel, it's an option. The link will be in the description. Uh, if not, well, you can ignore the link in the description, and then it costs you nothing, right? And, of course, there's like, comment, subscribe. You know, you can do that for free. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, so, you know, you can do that, or not, uh, as you see fit. And all that said, I'll see everybody back for another, uh, another series at some point in the future. Uh, so, that's all for now.